matches that we're looking at today. What do you think, Alan? Well, we've earmarked these two because they have been in fantastic form this season. It's been a pleasure to watch them. Now, oh, back in front of their own supporters today, Mark. Incisive pass. This is the Blackpool team for this match. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone front man. And here is the Portsmouth lineup for this game. 4-3-3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward, and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball. So an onus on them. Can find some space here on the flanks. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Tackle goes in. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Looking for teammates in the middle. Well, safe hands from the goalkeeper there. Not the most demanding save, but it had to be made. Yeah, easy though to take it a little easy, take your eye off the ball. Now Evans. Naylor. And Evans. See the deflection there, corner. They've gone short with the corner. No nonsense defending from him. Now Evans. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Taylor. Now Evans. The attacking team have got a problem here because the opposition are just sitting in and saying, well, you can break us down if you can. They think perhaps they can't break them down. Feeney. They can be quick on the break now. Now Evans. Gets his foot in there. Curtis. Attacking now. Now they can launch a counter-attack. Feeney, put a space for him. Now out on the wing. The goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. The manager will go into this with uh, extra zest, really. Played 1-1-1. One, one, one. What's going to happen in game number two? Well, results are everything for the manager, aren't they? And I think the players will be gaining respect for him because he's handled himself well here's Taylor Jimmy Ryan Taylor whipped in from the wide area well, all credit for taking the volley on but in the end Nowhere near the target. Well, it's a difficult skill, and you get it off a fraction, and that can happen. It goes wide. That's very good shielding of the ball. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Now Evans. Feeney. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. A low ball into the box. Oh, his teammates just looked away in disgust. It was such an easy chance for the first goal of the game. I think we both thought, watching from up here, that he was bound to score there. Jimmy Ryan. Feeney. Oh. 
out of play for a throw. Well, it will be a throw. It's gone out of that player there. Naylor. Clark. Naylor. And now Thompson. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. And Evans, supporting player alongside. Doing well to keep the ball. Oh, it's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision. Clark. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Now Evans. Comes in strongly. Game being played in one half of the pitch at the moment. The team with possession finding it hard though to get into areas where they're going to score a goal. Played away, well away from goal. And the players face another two minutes added on by the referee. Here's Thompson. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Cleared away by the defender. And it's Thompson. And there is the half time whistle. 0-0 at the break. Still great anticipation here as we get ready for the second half. Vini. Far too close across to the keeper. Naylor. They can spread the play now. In quickly. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. And Evans. Here's Thompson. Put into the middle. An attack that wasn't quite that in the end. Well, the word average comes to mind about his first half. What do you think, Alan? He's been a shadow of his normal self out there. So unlike him and hasn't had a chance hardly. Excellent interception. Can really get at the opposition here. Good block. And it's a straightforward save. Yeah, that was picking cherries. He saved that 100 times out of 100. Well, they usually get their man, Real Madrid, and that's certainly the case this time. Well, he doesn't come cheap, about £60 million, but he is the kind of player that can make a difference. The possession now is regained by Portsmouth. Taylor. A return ball. Move and able to cut out the pass. Clark. Now Brown. We've had an hour gone here and still 30 minutes left. And Evans. Thompson. Now Evans. And the offside is given. They do need an injection of the fresh enthusiasm from the bench. Substitution for Portsmouth coming off the pitch. Number 19, Viv Solomon Atabar coming onto the pitch. Number 32, James Blum. And 
Evans. Vaughan. They set it up well for the cross. There's still danger here after this half clearance. Guy. Loses possession. Now Evans, guided through. Teammates arriving for the cutback here. Portsmouth throw. Now Evans. Naylor. Vaughan. Looking for teammates in the middle. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. Here's Taylor. Doing well to keep the ball. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. It's an excellent cross. It's a brave effort, really, in amongst the players to get the header in, but off target, way off target. Yeah, not his best effort, that's for sure. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Taylor. Portsmouth have possession again. And that's a cross the field to try and switch the play. Substitution that the home side want to make. Curtis. Gets his cross in. Done well to get it wide, not done so well with the delivery from the wide areas. Now Evans. For score! The goal at last! The first goal of the game, and we've waited well over an hour to get it. But it's the team that have looked the most likely that have done it. And maybe they will use this as a platform to go on to win now. But they will expect the opposition to come back at them, they'll have to. Well, here's the goal again. Portsmouth have the lead. Portsmouth goal, number 32, James Vaughan. Feeney. That's very good shielding of the ball. In quickly. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. And that's when you need a defender to show his class, and he's done just that. Well, they're going to take him off, Alan. I'm not sure he wants to go off, but maybe they're just thinking ahead beyond this game. They're sensible. He's a valuable player, isn't he, to this team, and they don't want him out for any longer than necessary. Well, the atmosphere's improving now. Now the home team need to improve. They're still in with a shout. Yeah, time is running out. It's now or never. I think they've got to lift the game. Portsmouth have possession again. Clark. Now Brown. Curtis. Now Evans. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Pass, pass, pass. And the player with the ball has so many options, so they work so hard. Ball! What a brilliant goal! It's a terrific goal at a terrific time, and it should seal the win. He took it with greater plum. I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here.
just widen the margin here to 2-0. for Portsmouth, number 32, Ryan. James Vaughan. Taylor, Feeney. Striding forward, purposefully. The referee has indicated... And here's the shot. Well, it wasn't the gilt edge chance, but it was really an opportunity for them to start finding their way back into the game. Yeah, and they mustn't let heads drop because they still have got a decent chance in this match. Great interception. And Portsmouth have won as the final whistle goes. 